fight in this world is not against Islam, it's against religion. Be very clear about this. Because I can tell you this for sure, no one's head has ever been cut off in the name of atheism. No one has ever cut into human flesh and looked down camera and gone, in the name of nothing! <laughs> now let me be clear about this. If you're religious, I'm sure you might, some of you might be very nice, but you are slowing us down. <laughs> We're trying to move forward and you're in the fucking way, I'm sorry. <laughs> See, there's a, there's a lie that you'll be told throughout your life that will go along the lines of this. Uh, we have to save the planet. There's no bigger lie than we have to save the planet. We don't have to save the planet. We have to save us, the human race. The planet does not give a fuck about us and it will be happy when we're gone. <laughs> we are in the planet's way. Have you ever seen one of those documentaries where they go, this is what New York will look like one year after the human race dies and it's all covered in vines and shit? <laughs> the planet wants us gone. As soon as we're gone, the planet will go, I'm gonna do dinosaurs again, right? Like... <laughs> so we have to save ourselves in spite of the planet trying to kick us the fuck off. Right? Now imagine that the world is a train track and society is a train. And as society has always had to do, the train has to move forward. Because if it stops moving forward, we will run out of resources around the train because we be stationary. And the gears will lock up and the vines will take over. So it has to keep going forward. Now in this train, we have the people in the engine room, the people who are running the show. And those people in our society who run the show the scientists, these are the people who are inventing medicines for you to live longer and surgeries for you to live longer and finding alternative fuel sources and engineers that are making machines that run more efficiently, right? Now, all these people are scientists. Now, whether you like it or not, scientists are primarily atheists and they're all in the front carriage dragging us along. Now, in the second carriage, we have a bunch of cunts that I don't think get fucking enough flack. Uh, agnostics. <laughs> These fucking wishy-washy fucks. <laughs> yeah. They're all standing around the second carriage going, who knows? You know, like, <laughs> maybe, maybe there is a God, maybe there isn't a God, maybe your God and your God are the same God. But into, like, I know there was a Big Bang, but who made the Big Bang? Uh, I wouldn't consider myself, you know, religious, but I am spiritual. And <laughs> then there's this last carriage, and the last carriage is 50 times bigger than the other two carriages combined, and it's carrying the rest of the population of the human race. And it's just filled with cunts wearing hats for reasons they don't know, and <laughs> growing beards because they think they have to, and some of the women are covering their faces and cowering, Everyone's dancing around going, man on a cloud, man on a cloud. And there are so many of these cunts that the train is hardly fucking moving. <laughs> and the people in the engine room are like this. If, if, if I just pull this peg here. I... <laughs> do, do you know how fast we'd be moving? <laughs> Oh, well, I'm not going to change people's opinions, I guess. I don't fucking... <laughs>